Hey guys, this is James from Cruise West Coast, and we are here on the Norwegian Prima. No, we're not on the West Coast, not even on the West Coast of Nova Scotia, as we sail from New York to Halifax. But I have some cruise ducks in my hand, and uh, this is a trend that started in 2018, as a, uh, a young girl and her mom sailed on a carnival cruise. Uh, and since then, it's really exploded. So we first found out about this uh, through some internet forums, some message boards. We're like, what is this? But we hadn't really paid attention to it that much. But what we started seeing when the pandemic restarted is we started the ducks all the time. What are these ducks? What's going on? So we looked up and found out what it is. And essentially what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these ducks and you, you hide them on the ships in different places. And then as a duck hunter, as I call them, you can go around the ships and look for the ducks. Then when you find these little tags that we put together, you find out who, who dropped them and the hashtag and the Instagram handle or Twitter handle. And you go and have some fun and you thank the person and it's a way of building your friends. But you know what? What I really wanted to do is I want to talk to you guys about some places that you should do to place the ducks so that you can have a great time and make sure it's all good for the ship as well. As well as a few places you should never, ever place the ducks. So let's start out with places you should never put the ducks. So one of the places that you should, all, that you should never, ever place the ducks on is anything outdoors where it can blow away. That is one of the big rules when it comes to cruising, never litter, never put stuff in the ocean. So we're gonna go and go walk around the ship a little bit and place some ducks. So one of the places that you should absolutely never ever do is place the ducks in a gift shop. Not only is it part of an area that, of, of commerce with the, with the boat that you don't want to interfere with, but if someone grabs something, a duck off the counter, they could actually get in trouble because people might think that they're trying to steal something. So this is about having fun. So whatever you do, don't get people in trouble. But come on, let's go place, let's go find a place right over here that is great to place a duck. So while the gift shop right over there is not a very good place to put it, right over here is a fantastic place. So let's go see over here. So you see that this is a perfect place because you could be really obvious Place it right on top, or even right here, or you could even do something like that and be really clever by hiding it where they may never see unless somebody walks by and looks at it specifically. So that's your first tip. Be creative and find different places and different heights that you can hide the ducks, but also vary it up. Don't make it super, super hard. The fun is finding the ducks not having the crew clean up on the embarkation, disembarkation day because nobody could find your ducks. So come on, let's go find something, another place to go. So one of the areas that's, a, that's always a good way to hide your ducks, it's not really hiding because way out in plain sight, you would be surprised at the number of people who walk by things that are exactly in plain sight. So I'm gonna place this right here on top of the sign for local. This is actually one of our favorite places on Norwegian. But by having it here, you know people are going to walk by and somebody's going to find that. So another thing you should absolutely never, ever do. See these locked doors, these closed doors? Never, ever, ever go into crew quarters or crew areas and try to hide your ducks. Not only is that an invasion of their space, but it's also going to be very unsafe because you never want to encourage people to go into places that they shouldn't be. So we're not going to place it here. But one of the areas that we know is a kind of a fun, popular place to do is on seats. So this is walking into the indulged food hall. And I know that we're gonna get people who are gonna walk by and see this. But you know what, right now, we're gonna to go to the indulged food hall. So I'm gonna take a break and let's go get some food. But uh, we will be right back. So we, we weren't able to do, <laughs> there's some people having fun in the background here on the, I'm not sure if this is the drop or which, which side of this is, the awesome dry slide over there. But anyhow, we weren't able to do the indulged food hall because they're not open right now. But here we are at the local, one of our other favorite places. Got some great wings, some beer, cob salad. And I wanted to give you another tip about things you should do. Now, this is, we're cruising in October right now. It's cold, it, but it's not too cold. It's wonderful. But definitely theme your ducks. Now, there's one, th this is a Halloween themed duck. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, one of the things that, that's really fun about the ducks is that, you know, if you're just hiding just standard yellow rubber duckies all over the place, it's not that fun. But this is Halloween time, so we're hiding Halloween-themed ducks. 
So make sure to have some fun and uh, look for different themes. Another tip is to make sure you keep it family friendly and put it in, put some of them at least in places that are really easy for kids to reach, like right here. Down where the observation lounge, one of my favorite places on any of the Norwegian ships. And we're going to go put this behind the pillow. Because sometimes you want to be a little bit sneaky, a little bit hidden. So let's go over here. And we're going to make it just a little bit hidden. That way, don't hide it completely so somebody forgets about it, never finds it. But sneak it in there so that it's kind of hidden and to really surprise when someone sits down.